Hello and welcome to another video which I'm going to show you my Inspire One drone that I got a few weeks ago. Link on the description below for the video that I make about it and what I get with it and most important how much I pay or how much less I pay for it. So you'll be amazed and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. So we get back to the drone here, Inspire One, already folded up in an up position, which I can just put the camera. Normally it's go down, but for this video I took it already up. So I don't have to do it during the video because it's make a lot of sound and I want to protect your ears. So it's an up position and I want to show you today a mount that I 3D print that you can mount a GoPro on it or Loom Cube, for example. Here I have a Loom Cube version number one very very nice 3d printed lock because i missed the lock for it and a gopro mount i'm going to flip the drone i'm going to show you how to mount it on and this mount you can also buy adapter that you can split one gopro mount into two and then you can put two of them i have two of them but in this demonstration i'm going to show you how to mount a single one and it's really, really nice. And I'm going to make a test flight very soon. And I'm going to show you a video about that. Let's flip the drone and I'm going to show you how to mount the adapter that I 3D print. Here it is. This is a green color, but of course you can 3D print any color you want. It's come in a bigger form. I cut it and shape it to the way I want it to be small and nice. It clicks on both sides, so all you have to do, I'm not going to take it off now, but it's like you flip it out, so it's no screw, no glue, nothing, and it's hold very, very well. So let's see now how I'm going to mount this loom cube. Very, very simple, like you mount any GoPro. So you put the screw like this, and before you lock it, you adjust the angle that you want the loom cube to point so of course if you want it to be facing down you can do like this if you want to do facing forward but not much forward because remember you have a camera that you need to mount on this so it can block the lights so you put it a little down for search and rescue and then you lock it and it's going to stay there it's not going to go anywhere very very simple to install and then of course when you put it like this in the highest position then you have a place for the camera, the camera is more low and more down from the loom cube so you have no problem, just remember to take it off before you put it in a down position to put it in a case. So I'm going to show it to you more close so you can have a look at it. So here it is, very nice and simple to install, printed in black, printed in white, it might look better. I just do a test and it's hold very, very well. I will leave a link in the description below also for the file that you can download to print and also this mount that you can use and another mount that you can use, but I think this one is better so you can choose whatever mount fits to you. And if you use GoPro, you might have some mounts in a different way. Just do a test and see what fits better. That's all I want to show you today, how to mount a loom cube under your drone, you can't see it from up here, but believe me, it's there. So I'm going to do a test flight, as I say before, when it's be dark, and then I'm going to share my thoughts, how it's been and how helpful it is. So I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like this video. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye.